ओके ओके यस I have knowledge on React. Uh, I have been uh, working like uh, I just uh, work on it, but I haven't much work on projects. React on not in there. Yeah, I work on ASP dot net, MVC, SQL Server, uh, C Sharp. And uh, Angular and Azure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Hi Sirish. Hi. Hello. Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, hi Sirish. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, we are able to hear you. Okay, we'll start now. So, okay. So, uh, tell us uh, about yourself. Yeah, myself it is Sirish. Uh, previously, I worked at uh, Ryan Tax India Services. Uh, I have uh, seven years of experience in uh, .NET technologies like uh, C Sharp, ASP .NET, MVC, SQL Server, Angular, and uh, MS SQL. And uh, Azure as well. I work on Azure as well. Uh, my previous project is uh, RPM. It is a business processing application for uh, keeping track on the process of uh, the tax, which you in, in our previous communities uh, based on uh, taxation. So we used to track uh, the process of the taxes, and we used to send the notifications regarding that to the employees where the processes and uh, also update the update if any updates are uh, in the uh, in that process okay great so uh, like uh, can you share uh, any any challenges what you faced in your previous project or uh, any of the project yeah i work on angular project Previously, it is uh, Anakapu chicken. Okay. Uh, it is an Angular based application. So did, did you did you face any challenges, technical challenges? Yeah, we have to connect. Did you the, face any technical challenges? Yeah, sometimes uh, we have to connect to the web APA to the Angular. Uh, to the Angular thing, sometimes the data is uh, when, uh, connection is a little bit issue in the, when we are connecting those web APIs to the Angular. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, start with some OOPS concept. Uh, so Rakesh, can we start? Yes. Okay, sure. Hi, Sharish. Hi. Okay. So, uh, Sharish, uh, you are working right now? No, I'm not working at the moment. Okay. So, you are an immediate joiner, right? Yes. And uh, uh, what was the package you are getting right now? Means, uh, before? Uh, before I used to get a 6.5 lakhs per hour. Okay. 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 So, uh, coming to C sharp and oops, uh, can you tell me the difference between private members uh, of a class and the protected members of a class? Private? Private and protected members of class. Okay. In a private means, if, uh, in a class, uh, in a class, anyone can access those uh, modifiers. Uh, but in a uh, protected, it is uh, in the method only in that uh, method only they can access that modifier. Not the whole class cannot can, um, uh, access that modifier. So uh, in protected, what you are saying? In protected, for uh, method only in a in a class we declare a method, right? In that method only we can. Uh, access that modifier not the whole class can access that mod and uh, private private means the uh, whole class can access that modifier and they can uh, 
anyone in that method can access that uh, thing. Okay. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me uh, the difference between abstract class and interface? Uh, abstract class is a class with uh, a keyword abstract. An interface is a signature of a class. Uh, an interface can be an abstract class. Uh, in abstract class, we can uh, use uh, inheritance. But in uh, see, uh, interface, we cannot use inter uh, inheritance. Uh, okay. We can make uh, changes to the abstract classes, but in interface, it is only a signature. We can just uh, call that uh, interface name, and we can only use it. Okay. Okay, fine. So, uh, can you tell, uh, like, uh, uh, if there is a, say, a, a non static class? So can we define a static member in a non-static class? Uh, in a non-static class, you can uh, define a... No, we can't define it. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, how do you convert a uh, string uh, data into integer in C sharp? Uh, we can uh, use an uh, interface or we can uh, use convert dot uh, integer int. Okay. Okay. What is the difference between a string and a string builder? Uh, if uh, you are adding a, if a value is uh, declared for a string, and if you are adding a new value, the previous value get erased. So in a string builder, if you are adding, if you can add a new value to that uh, string, uh, to the previous value the previous so value what you are saying uh, string, in a string builder value will be erased no in string the value uh, the previous value get uh, erased and the new value will be there in a string builder only the previous value and the new value can be found Okay. Okay, I have one question. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, Rajesh. Okay, okay. So I have one question, uh, Suresh. Suppose you sure. have a method, uh, get employee name in that one parameter you are passing. Okay. Okay, ID. Okay. So uh, can you check the data type of that parameter? In the function body, can you check the data type of the parameter? Yeah, function. Dynamically, can you check? Yeah. Mm, no idea. No okay, no problem. Okay, so. <clears throat> Did you work in Link you? Yes. Okay. 
okay how you will do left join in like you suppose employee table is there and department table is there how you will do left join in uh, first we will uh, uh, we will call the tables then uh, we will declare the joint and then we will call the select function okay in entity framework what uh, approach you used database first or code first? first okay so suppose uh, uh, any changes you need to do in your database uh, suppose you uh, you need to create a table how that table will affect in your database um, we used to in the model we create the table name and uh, we use a migration uh, command using that uh, migration command in the shells we will uh, update it in the database any command is there uh, migrate db uh, db name uh, okay anything else uh, there is a uh, some other uh, i can't remember so. Okay, no problem. So, okay, in uh, in Angular, uh, how you will uh, you know uh, interpolation? You know, in Angular, interpolation, string interpolation. Yeah, here. Yeah, no. Okay, how? What is that? Sorry, I can't. Okay, how how you do event binding in Angular? Event binding. So in the we can write. You know Angular expression and JavaScript expression. JavaScript expression. Yeah. What is the difference between Angular expression and JavaScript expression? Can you give me one example? Uh, in a JavaScript, it is a plain JavaScript, but in Angular, it uh, uses ng libraries like uh, ng for ng for like that. But in okay, uh, in SQL. In SQL Server, can you call a stored procedure from a function? No, you can't call a stored procedure from a function. Why? No. You can uh, a stored procedure can have a you can create a delete in a store procedure, but in only in a function, you can only select uh, comments, right? How you will delete duplicate records from table? Delete? Delete records, duplicate records. How you can delete uh, duplicate records from table? 
Yes, uh, we will assign uh, we will uh, assign numbers to that uh, every row if they are uh, added multiple times it will be getting uh, multiple rows and we will take only the first uh, number of the row like first column first row as well so that uh, the duplicate rows get uh, deleted or you can also use a distant keyword okay so i am done uh, rakesh do you have any questions no i am good okay okay sir so, uh, sirish so we are done do you have any question for us nothing at the moment okay okay then our hr will contact you okay thank you thank you Thank you.